the hole is huge. What you see today may not be there tomorrow. And it's only getting bigger. We wouldn't be surprised if by the end of this wet season, you know, much of the lower portion of the spillway has been eroded away. The spillway where reservoir water is released during rain events is no longer a smooth track. Water is a very powerful force. The giant hole opened up yesterday. The floodgates were closed. Today, a test run to ease pressure on the dam. 20,000 cubic feet per second ripped the hole apart even more. Water blasting cement into the air. A portion of the side guard is now gone. Earth torn away as the brown water crashed towards the river below. And when the gates closed, a larger hole was revealed. Tense moments and concern above the dam and below the way could lead to a more serious situation with the dam itself. Officials, though, quickly calming those fears. We do not believe that there's an imminent uh, danger to the dam. The spillway problem persists, and the water, it must go somewhere. We still have some room to absorb the water coming in. Uh, long term, yeah, we're going to have to move water out of it. The water level it, at Oroville continues to rise. It was at about 856 feet when the spillway damage was discovered. Now, the latest reading shows that level near 873 feet. Officials are doing everything they can to prevent it from getting to 901 feet, and that's when water would spill uncontrolled from that. And there are a number of levee breaks along the Kasumnas River at this hour, and a number of homes and streets are flooding, even trapping some people in some areas. Firefighters, friends, and neighbors coming together in a sandbag brigade to help keep even more runoff out of this already flooded home. But as water from this swollen Kasumnas River started overflowing its banks, the pressure was too much and the levee gave way. Earlier, Sacramento County Office of Emergency Services warned residents to be prepared and as expected, the levee started to crumble. It is getting worse, unfortunately. Um, our levee systems, you know, they were doing their best, but now we are seeing breaches. The rising water not only affecting homes and yards, but even livestock were forced to find higher ground. For many who've been around for decades, they know the river's power, but we're banking the levees would hold. We're hoping that uh, the amount of water that is escaping will go into the farmlands, but we're finding that there are some situations where homes may be uh, possibly impacted by this. Officials say it's a waiting game to see just how much water will flow and where. We knew the water was coming and that it was going to end up here. Uh, just where it actually goes and who it floods first and most severe is kind of the unexpected to us. Imagine you're driving on Highway 50 and you run into this, a massive mudslide blocking the road. We have dozens of boulders, large rocks that have come all the way across the highway. Of course, we have lots of trees now down. The tree we see here was sitting 100 feet higher up. It came down in one piece, slid to block the road. Now, the contractors tell me we're looking at 4,000 yards of debris. All of this they have to clean up now, but we did actually find Find out one car got caught in this. That red car over there was a couple with their dog heading to Tahoe. This caught them by surprise. Luckily, all of them are okay. Now, as far as the cleanup, we've seen the first equipment arrive to tackle this mess. They say it's going to take 24 to 36 hours at best to get this entire highway cleaned up.